So, uh, a tank with two drills, huh? Guess he's digging for battle. Access code Buster Boar. Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? Black Zen here, and welcome back to another Random Builds Reviews. For this video, we are going to be reviewing the Buster Boar figure from the Motoroid Full Powered Gridman set. So here we are, and there it is. And of course, we previously built this in the previous video, of course. I'm starting to lose my mind here. But anyway, getting on to the figure itself. So Buster Boar here is the second vehicle to appear in the Quadruple S Gridman series. Of course, I'm referring to the anime, not the live action that came before it. So, so as we can see here, Buster Boar is sort of a tank mech. As you notice, the uh, treads on either side. So, he's got one there as well. And of course, he's got a pair of drills at the front and the back. Well, not that much, except you want to counter this helmet. Only place to store it. So, basically, human wise. He goes by the name Boar, sort of a little kid, a bit of a blonde. Don't know why they uh, didn't bother to make him a girl. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm still kind of a skeptic myself. I won't be judgmental about it. So as a human, he basically walks around like anyone else inside cyberspace or in the world of a computer generated world when he stands in front of junk and says his access code he reappears as this mech or at least one of the vehicles speaking of which he is about the second vehicle to appear in the series, aside from uh, Sky Vitter, which is the third one, and uh, uh, Gridman Caliber, almost lost my words there. But evidently, uh, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. I know there's still a uh, Tracto Max. For the next one, since he was the uh, first, again getting sidetracked. So evidently, there's a lot of details going into a uh, Buster Boar here, uh, besides the drills. And you got some uh, around the canopy as well as the. Uh, Uh, chess. Oh. Got something like a Gatling guns on the sides, but these don't exactly get used in the vehicle form, only in a combined mode with Gridman. So, pretty much hollow on the bottom. Uh, if you want to say that it's hollow. type of handles. I uh, think he's only been shown about two, maybe three times by itself or when combined as a powered Xenon or in the full powered Gridman. No. But he is kind of a cool figure. 
Sadly, there are no uh, working wheels on this. Treads are mostly stationary. I I wish it was a working uh, a working tank where you can move it. Sadly, no such thing. The treads are basically a solid piece. You know, as much as I want to show this next to a Sky Vitter, but unfortunately I've got him taken apart because every time when I put him together with the stand, it's a bit harder to undo. So I'm not going to do a comparison with that, but I will be doing comparison with the grid man of the set, as you can see right there. As you can see, Gridman stands a bit taller than Buster Boar. Hmm. Oh, a, right at the front. Hmm. And just for the heck of it, yeah, I, I think I will show it off. Just let me get his parts right here at the, for a moment. Okay, so there's the back section of Skyvitter. And you kind of need the stand in the middle in order for the front half to connect. So. Can't do anything about it being separated, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, not much I can do uh, as it is right now. Uh, other reason why I don't want to use the stand up for Sky Vitter at this time is because I'm afraid of the transparent plastic breaking. I've known that to happen to a few figures on other people. And it's like, uh, nope, not going to do it again. The, the part will just get stuck and I'll need to buy another one just to replace it. So, so for me, I'm taking precautions. That's it for comparison. Now the other thing that Buster Board does come with is a special combination piece that you use on Gridman himself. So this side here goes in where the uh, ex icon in his chest is. The other part just slides into uh, the vehicle just so that it stays all connected. So, so speaking of which, at this point, I think I'll uh, combine Buster Boar with Gridman right now. So first off, you just detach the head and uh, raise up the helmet. Raise up the... Oh, right, I forgot the, about that little hinge. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, there we go. And I really don't want to break this. Okay. So I got the helmet opened up. Let's get Buster Boar here all situated. First, untab the treads, but not the, uh, the pylons. Good grief. This wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm. 
Okay. Try this again with the other side. Untab the treads. Move these downwards. It should be noted that the hinges will somewhat be stiff if this is the first time moving them around. Try to get this all out of the way. Uh-oh. Oh, I see a little snap. Dang it. I was hoping not to let that happen. Which means I'm going to have to do some repair work. Extend the lower pylons. Split these drills apart and turn them around on the ball joint. Set them right back in. Turn this around, and that popped right out. Not supposed to happen. Okay. Oop. At least that didn't fly far. All right. Try to plug that right back in. Okay, and Buster Bore is ready for combination. All right. Set that down right there for the time being. Bring in a grid man. For this, I'm going to use my tweezers because I tried getting this out earlier before this video. And let's just say that the experiment of getting this little piece off was not uh, so great on my fingernails. Place that on the chest right there. I'm gonna take this little red insignia, come to the back of Buster Bore, and just store that into a peg on the inside, if I can. Mm. Ah. Tiny pieces are always so fumbly. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to take this off camera for a moment. Okay, so finally got that part into Buster Board, as you can see right there. So at this point, we can get the helmet onto Gridman first. This does take a bit of doing. Starting with 
just slide it on somehow. Eh, come on. Bollocks. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of a cheat. That's popping the head off. Only is this supposed to happen with the head being on the body, but seeing it's not cooperating, I don't have much of a choice here. And of course the fin decides to pop right off. Yeah, bollocks. Now you stay on. Sheesh. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. We got something going on. Try and be careful not to break this. There we go. Okay, close that right up. All right. Reattach onto the body. Like so. Okay. And now there's this peg. And a buster bore that's gonna go into this peg hole as well as a slot or a squarish peg that is gonna slot into the upper cavity. Just connect them on like so. Should have raised the arms up first. Oh well. Okay. Arms are in. Good. If you want to slide these uh, pylons inwards so he stabilizes better. You can if you want, and I hate it how these uh, darn things unpeg. Ah, jeez. At this point, you just want to get things situated. Unfortunately, I've got parts and pieces flying about and slipping through my hands. Okay, I'm going to need another uh, few minutes to get this uh, set up. So, uh, bear with. And there you have is a Gridman and Buster Borg combined together in order to get Buster Gridman. Now, I have to say this little combination is... Uh, I have to say it's okay, give or take. And as you can see, the vehicle does attach to the chest. So being a bit top heavy, the uh, back treads 
do tend to uh, give out some s stability. I don't know why I got tongue-tied there. Uh, I had to do a bit of repair work with one of the pylons. Since it snapped, I had to use some uh, cement glue. And no doubt the other side is going to do the same within the future. So I'll have to be careful with that. But evidently, it, the combination is uh, somewhat good in a way. Okay, so I'm going to be honest uh, here right now. I do not like how this is uh, turning out. So, the combination with Sky Vitter, sure, that was okay. That was good. That was uh, somewhat plenty. Given Gridman the ability to fly, why not? This, however, uh, it really pulls at me the, the wrong way. Especially for a combination like this. So, he does have something of a secondary attack. Well, for starters, one of the attacks requires the drills opening up, revealing some sort of a ray guns to this artillery. Oh, get the other side here. Good grief. Like if he was uh, trying to blast out at something. Just like that, giving him a buster grid of beams that are mounted on his shoulders, to say, say the least. Yeesh. It's basically a primary. I know I said a secondary, but still, yeah, it's disastrous. And then, of course, you've got a... a Another attack, where I'm going to have to bring these up front. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Always unplugging on me. God. Mm. Forcing you to do this as a, on a 180. Or, or 270, whatever. Hands are supposed to reach right out towards the uh, handles and cells. I may have this wrong. Right now, I really don't care. Gonna have to go back to the instructions and see how that really works. Uh. At least this one is lodged in, so it won't be popping off on me whenever. Okay, so you got rotating gadly guns on the bottom that don't actually rotate because this is a model version. And you open up the panels. Hidden missiles for an all-out attack. Now, I will say again, I really don't like this combination, but I, it is what it is. Vehicle mode, I have no problem with. This, however, nah. No way. So. so, be that as it may, Buster Boar is my least favorite so far in this set. But as far as the full combination-wise to the figures, that has yet to be uh, seen. Okay, 
So right now, this is standing at a 3 out of 5 for me. Well, Sky Vitter was about a 5 for 5. Uh, Caliber, 4 or 5. Gridman will always remain my favorite, no matter what. At least for this set. And I know there's still one vehicle left to, to deal with. So, speaking of which, before I sign off, bit of a hat draw. And since I won't need to do any shaking, there's only one slip left. And get over here. So, next up the vehicles for Full Power Gridman. We'll be doing Battle Tracto Max in the next video. So, we're going to have to build him up. And there's still parts left over. Trace to go through. And we're almost done with the set, anyways. Alright. Okay, in any case, I'm going to end here and say this is Black Xana saying Tower Deactivated. I'll be back with many more good videos. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't. As well as to my uh, gaming channel. Links down in the description below. And I will see you all until next time. Bye! Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast. I've got some circuits to deal with you. Uh, what is it this time, Megatron? You know I don't have an avatar. This ain't about avatars. Not that I care for any of that. This is about the disrespect you've been putting on me and the Decepticons. I mean, sure, we mostly deserve some of it, but cutting our heads off, blowing us up, it's completely ridiculous and unorthodox. Well, it's not just you, Megatron. There have been some other Transformers... I've done to as well, like Optimus, uh, for instance. But then again, there are some other versions of you I could try to do. And that's another thing. I demand an upgrade. I demand to get some stiffer joints out of this. Tied it down with these flimsy legs. And I also demand that I, 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 I. Uh... Ah, scrap! Not him again! What's up, Mega Dork? Say hello to my drilling friend. Oh, get it over with. Okay, but you asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you, Mega Creep. Ah, typical. Just typical. Well, could have been worse. At least Starscream's not here to throw me over. And I won't have to hear Prime laughing at this. I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs>